Hey guys, my name is Dennis. I usually don't do these kind of videos. It's not really part of my channel. I want to talk about the microphone that I got, an uh, Apple Z mic. Um, when I got the microphone, I had some difficulties in trying to set it up on my computer because I don't have a Mac computer. Um, I just want to share some little tips that I have discovered on my journey trying to figure out how to get it to work on my computer. I have Windows 8. I need to go to your computer, you right click, you go to manage, and then you're in your computer management, you go to services and application, then you go to services, and you gotta go all the way down to Windows Audio, and you have to stop this device. Because for some reason, if you check out some other videos, they can explain to you how it works, is that this microphone has to have direct access to the audio system and it can't run through the computer. I don't know all the technical information. I really don't know that much about how everything works. But whatever you do, you gotta remember to activate it again once you're gonna render your file. So the program I use is Reaper, which really doesn't matter what program you use. But when you go to preferences, you will have to download and install ASIO for all. So when you go to your audio system, you go to your devices, and you select ASIO. So the important thing is, is you go to your ASIO configuration, and you have to have these selected here. It's interesting to note that if you have your, if you do have your Windows Audio active, let's start it up again, close this down, cancel, so you bring it up again, and you go to ASIO configuration, you'll notice that this little X in here, real tech HD audio output. And this is the audio that prevents the audio from playing at the same time while you do your recording. So if you want to do record and hear the audio at the same time, and as you will notice in the previous video, or the previous window, you'll see the out range, output range, not connected. And so technically you just have to disactivate the whole audio the windows audio it disactivates everything so you stop it you go back and go to ASIO configuration and you'll notice that it's not working so basically what you can do is you can listen to the audio and you can record at the same time so let's play Let's get the audio. So you hit the record button. There's no track, track arm for recording. You gotta arm the track. And as you can see, the audio is working. And if I hit the record button, so you can control the volume here, but when you disactivate the audio, you will have no control over the volume of your vol the volume of your computer. One thing that you'll notice that you need to do, stop it. You need to stop it. Um, one thing that when you do mess around with it, you gotta really pay attention because um, the output range needs to be on this audio. And sometimes when you mess around with it, it does kind of act weird. So you got to make sure all this is in place. Well, like I said, I'm not very good at explaining this kind of stuff. I just want to post this videos for people who buy this microphone like me and who have a hard time trying to figure out how to get it to work. Um, the simple steps are you need to download ASIO for all. You can use any program to do your audio recording. And you need to disactivate your audio and computer management and you gotta make sure that all the actual driver information enable puts and output range is in correct order but if you want to render it like I said don't forget you need to activate your audio again on your computer so that way you can have audio when you're done recording so I hope that helped you guys